rest though I don't back down Leave your heart laying on the ground Tell me who who the killer now Tell me who who the killer now Hello, hello, hello my stars and galaxies Welcome back to my channel, The Universe Tarrant Now, before we get started Make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe You know, if, you, if you're new to my channel Make sure you, um Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload for my upload. Um, today it's about the Aries. It's about the Aries today. Okay. Um, my Cash App and PayPal is in the description box below. Um, you can hit me up on Instagram or just text the number in the description box so you know exactly where to go for you're ready for your personal reading and you know exactly where and how to contact me. So yeah. Um, Reading prices, right? Reading prices. It's really simple. One question readings. $15 on Cash App, $20 on PayPal. Okay? For 20-minute readings. $40 on Cash App and $45 on PayPal. 30-minute readings. $50 on Cash App and $55 on PayPal. All right? So, there you go. Those are the prices. They've been majorly updated. Be, but once upon a time, it used to be um, $40 for all personal readings. Um, but now it's just like, um, well, it used, to, it used to be like anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes. And then the reading would be $40, you know. But, you know, prices are going up now. So, you know, I got to adjust my prices to the way the prices are looking in the outside world. You know, so if it decreases, I don't know, maybe it'll go back down a little bit. But, mm -mm. Everything's too expensive right now. Mm -mm, so, y'all can get butt hurt over the prices, but I'm sorry, but I gotta make a profit. So, membership is also available on my channel. Okay? The Starlight Package, the Galaxy Package, and then the Universe Package. $2.99, $4.99, and $9.99 a month. Shout out to Space Kitten 1111, Hyper Focus, and the U and no, no, I keep saying the Universe Tarot, and the Secret Tarot for being a part of the Universe Package. I think um, the majority, well, two, uh, two of them have been a member for a good, maybe month now, a month and a half now. At the end of this month, it will be officially two months since, they, uh, since Hyper Focus and Space Kitten 1111 would have been a member, but the U Secret Tarot is a newer member, but, you know, I appreciate you guys for joining show me some some love show me some support um remember people of the universe package or people who do join the universe package remember you guys will get five dollars knocked off your first personal reading okay um but that is not applicable to the one question reading you use that for your 20 or 30 minute reading okay like i said um you can't lie to me you know you guys can't lie to me um <laughs> I know exactly who's a member and who's not, and I can see who is a member of what package and how long they've been joined. Okay, so don't even try to play. Don't play. Okay? So, that's basically it. You know, I mean, I know a lot of... For the people who have watched all of my videos and not just a video once in a while, you, you guys already know that I... um You guys already know this, so you probably... You guys probably fast-forwarded to the reading, but... um. Yeah, that has not even started yet. <laughs> but you guys are just fast forwarding. So yeah, um, um donations. Donations are appreciated. Even a dollar will be appreciated, you know what I'm saying, guys? Like I would really appreciate it, you know, to accommodate, you know, how expensive things are. You know what I'm saying? A little don a little something something won't hurt. Um Oh yeah, I remember I said I was gonna go live one of these days. I totally forgot about that. Uh, time, I think I was supposed to do it yesterday because <laughs> today is Wednesday morning. I was supposed to do it sometime yesterday. Time just gets away from me, y'all. It does, you know. And, you know, obviously, guys, I'm going to work, so I'm going to get start drinking my coffee during this reading. Okay. If you guys want, you probably just, you guys, just fast forward to five minutes into this reading. Mm. Mm. Right. You know, some people want to just be like, oh, there's so much talking in this reading, guys. Six minutes, the reading starts in six, the six-minute point, the time frame tag. And I'm just like, so basically, you don't give a damn about what I got to say in, my, in the beginning of my videos. 
you just want your reading and then if it don't resonate with you you try to hit the dislike button or be or try to leave a rude comment that's with some people not everyone I switch some people, not everybody. But, I don't know. Sometimes I sh wanna just leave the comment section off because it's just like, what are y'all talking about? <laughs> Seriously, like, what are y'all talking about? Oh yeah, this reading is gonna be a good half an hour, so get your snacks, okay? Or get your drinks or whatever you wanna do, okay? But yeah, it's just like, what are y'all talking about? I don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all just be talking about something totally i'm just like huh but yeah or maybe i'll just increase strictness because i also get a lot of spam so but anyway aries you guys got the hold on let me focus on the card okay you guys got the emperor in the reverse okay now the emperor card in the reverse all right means that you are associated or maybe you're romantically involved with somebody who is cold and uncaring or who tends to be um, unsympathetic or just wants to do things their way, right? Or just wants riches and power, but not willing to put in the riches and power energy, okay? Right? Like, there's a lot, and there's, these people are more common than you think. Like, they want the fruits of the labor, but they don't want to put in the labor or they want to use other people and to get to that fruit of the labor, Okay. Like say, you know, you guys are both broke. Say you're in a relationship and you're both are broke, right? But you have the ambitious heart and, you know, you're constantly going out there, finding a job and then you find a job, you put in extra, extra hours to make some more, some, make some real money Then you save up for a while and you say you rent a business, right? You rent out a business and make your own retail store or whatever the case is, you know what I'm saying? So you work to get there, okay? But they want to make it... But, but 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 what they do is that they're going to be like, you're going to own a rental store? Don't everybody do that? That's kind of... Like, you know, everyone owns a rental store. You know, it's kind of like, there's a good chance that's not even going to be a big deal, right? So when the rental store finally um, becomes a success, they're going to be like, oh my God, this was such a great idea. You know, we did it. You know, we worked together and did this. We got this, you know, you know da, 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 we're in this together. So where was that energy when you said you wanted to buy a business or something like that? You know, that's the kind of person that they are. Whether you're dating them or if this is just a, um, somebody you're associated with, like a friend or a family member. First of all, what kind of friend? What, who are your friends, Aries? Well, uh, first of all, if this is a friend, I would totally kick him to the curb already. But temperance. Okay, temperance now. Now, it's, the energy here is saying that you need to try to have more um, patience with yourself, okay? Because I'm seeing here you get kind of irritated a little easy, or maybe you lose your cool kind of quickly, or, you know, you get frustrated, or maybe you get lose confidence a little bit quicker than um, most people. But that's okay, all right? A lot of you are not the only one, right? It's just that you got to learn more patience, and you have to be calm. All right, you have to try to be calm more, all right? You can't just you know, going with your guns ablazing and stuff like that. You know, you're, you're just screaming and yelling and you don't even know what's going on. You're just screaming and yelling and at whoever, right? So Aries, it's very important that you just calm, like keep a calm mind, keep a level head and really try to relax, okay? Keep just try to, even if there's people that's pissing you off in your life, try to keep, stay relaxed the best you can, okay? The Six of Cups in the reverse. Right. I'm seeing here your person is also very, um, very stingy. Okay, they're very stingy. They do not like to share. They do not like to share their money. Like it's mostly with money that they're very stingy about. They, you know, they, they if, if it's food, they won't be as stingy maybe, or something else that's like kind of like pointless. But when it comes to money, they hold on to their money like this. Right, they hold on to it. Okay, they don't like to share it. They don't like to. They, they don't even like to give a dollar to a, a homeless person on the side of the street who begs for it. Right? They'll just say something snarky like, "Oh, you know, how about I get you a job? And, you know, so you don't have to beg for money anymore and stuff like that." Or you know, "Oh, 
sorry, no, I don't carry cash, I don't leave a card. When they literally have a whole uh, arsenal of dollar bills in their wallet, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that, they just um, are very stingy, they don't care about, they don't really care about other people's financial problems or anything like that. They want to hold on to their money, you know, anyone else who with financial problems, it, it, they don't even exist. Because in their head, it's all about them and their money. I hate people like that, by the way. Like, I can, like if you generally don't have a dollar in your wallet, no one can get mad at you, okay? But if you know you got one, at least a dollar bill, you can't give it to that person. I don't know, like, or, or just some pocket change, just some coins you have in your back pocket. Something, something, you know? Okay? So you guys got the nine of wands, all right? Now, in the nine of wands, I'm seeing here you're very tired, okay? You be very tired sometimes. You be very irritated and you be very mentally exhausted. Okay? You try to, you know, keep your spirits up. You try to um um what do you call that? Like you try to keep um keep happy thoughts only in your head. You try to do your best with that, but you know, times times like this it really makes you feel like, you know, what's the point? Right? You, you feel like, what is the point a lot of the times? Because you just feel so tired. Sometimes you feel so exhausted. Sometimes you feel so frustrated. And it's just like, you know, some, uh, I can't take it anymore. You know, like, I just, I just want to lay in bed for 48 hours, you know? And a lot of people feel like that. So I feel you, Aries. Trust me, I feel you. Let's get some more sage up in here. I burned some more sage. I burned some sage earlier, but it blew out. Mm -mm. I'm burning some more sage up in here, y'all. Okay. Right. So, yeah, you. So a lot of the times, you just feel so overwhelmed and so exhausted that you 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 can't you can't sometimes, right? You can't sometimes. But Aries, listen. I understand how frustrating things can be for you. I understand how you know things can be overwhelming, right? But that's exactly why you got to do it, right? Because. If you let things overwhelm you, you'll never get to experience the life that you want to experience, right? So that's why it's important that you keep trying, you keep working, you keep attempting, right? And you'll see how worth it it was, okay? The Three of Cups in the Reverse. In the Three of Cups in the Reverse, I'm seeing here that this relationship is kind of falling apart here. Okay, whether it's your partner, partner, or your friend, or your family member, but whoever they are to you, this relate the relationship you guys are having is really falling apart. Okay, but I ain't mad at it because they have shown signs of narcissism and all that other foolishness. Okay, they have shown signs of narcissism, um, um, cold be like cold heartedness, um manipulativeness so i ain't mad at it i ain't mad at y'all okay i ain't mad at them so if this relationship is falling apart aries don't care let them give them their walking papers if they want to walk away but right now this relationship is not doing you any good if anything is stressing you out more and it's making you feel like this person does not care about you okay and you know you're not crazy you're not crazy or if you feel crazy, I can assure you, you're not crazy, okay? It's not in your head, you know, it's not your fault, it's theirs, okay? Because this is, the, this is the attitude that they're giving you. The devil. I'm so glad the devil card came up, because that explains exactly what they have in their heart, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. They're not a bad, evil person like the devil card is usually associated with like a bad evil person they're not a bad evil person like totally like the son or daughter of hell no but they do have a lot of character flaws and they do have a lot of selfishness so that can really kind of bring that that's kind of why the devil card show popped up because they have a lot of negative energy and a lot of selfishness and a lot of um 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 
cruelness in their heart. And it's just like, I'm associated with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like that's kind of like in your point of view. So like, you got to look at them and sometimes and be like, I'm associated with you. You're my girlfriend. You're my boyfriend. You're my friend. You're my mom. You're my brother. You're my dad. You're my sister. Like, you, know, you have to look at them and question that what title they have that is associated with you. you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you have to look at them and question, like, we're, we're something together? Like, yeah. Because there, because it's the amount of cruelness that they have in their heart. Like sometimes you have to wonder if they're even human, right? So they have a lot of um, disdain in their heart. Okay. Now, the lovers. Okay. So I'm seeing here there's some new love coming into your life. Okay. New love is coming into your life. Hold on, let me sip on this because if this, because if this person is your partner and you got the lovers card and there's new love coming into your life. Like you're finding somebody else, then oop, hold on. Why do I feel like that's jealousy right there? That person gonna be jealous that y'all separated, right? And see you with your new person, okay? But you know, but again, that's not applicable to your friend or your family member. Unless they don't like the new person that you go out with, okay? Like, if it's a friend or a family member, and they, there's probably there's just a good chance they're not going to like the person that you go out with, right? Or they might not care. But if it's but if this person is your um, boyfriend or girlfriend or any kind of significant other, then, and, and then you, like, you separate, like, you cut them off and stuff like that and find somebody new to love, then it's just going to be definitely going to spark some jealousy sparks. You guys got the Seven of Pentacles. Right? The Seven of Pentacles. It's time to start making investments. All right? Time to start making some investments. It's time to start putting in the work. All right? All right? Even if you were already putting in the work, it's time to actually um, start making moves for yourself. All right? Anyone can have business ideas. Anyone can have ideas in general to want to be successful or um, mentally crave a path to be successful, right? But it actually takes um, the initiative, right? The initiative to um, actually make it into reality, right? It takes initiative. It takes so much um, passion. You know, you have to really want it. You can't just, like, give up if nothing works out. Like, you have to... Um, like you have to just go for it, all right? Because that's how you'll that's how you'll succeed. You just have to go for it. You have to make that leap of faith. The hermit, okay. Now maybe sometimes you need a little help as far as knowledge is concerned. Maybe you feel like you need a little guidance every now and again, right? Maybe sometimes you feel like you need a little guidance, a little assistance. Sometimes you don't know what to do. Not all the time, you know. Sometimes you feel like you want um, a little help, okay? Or even if you don't feel like you need help, you do need a little help, okay? Because the hermit is saying like you feel confused sometimes. You feel like you need a little um, assistance or guidance with the path that you're trying to go on, right? So maybe it's more... Um, Maybe it's better for you if you talk to someone who is associated with the path that you've been down before or you just have more experience in that field, okay? So just trying to talk to somebody who has more experience in what you want to do. Say you want to be a chef, okay? Talk to you, but you don't know where to start, right? So talk to someone or contact somebody who has experience as a chef or some kind of restaurant cooking experience, okay? Stuff like that, all right? The Ten of Cups. Okay. Now, in the Ten of Cups, I'm seeing here there's a very big celebration. Okay. In the Ten of Cups. There's a big celebration. There's some kind of um, happy ending here. There's a lot of um, good vibes right here. Seeing so everyone's happy. Everyone's um, celebrating the union. They're celebrating really good news stuff like that maybe you're um getting married or engaged to your new partner or um your new partner is pregnant or you're pregnant whatever it is 
or fish or you finally or maybe you got like a big job opportunity and it's going to take you across the world or take you across the country so whatever it is it's a big big deal and everyone's so happy for you okay the moon in the reverse okay huh? the moon in the reverse somebody's being shady okay so i'm seeing your secrets right being kept all right somebody is actually very um irritated or jealous okay F kind of frustrated now this could be your ex this could be your ex right or that evil friend or family member that we discussed in the devil card right so yeah they're like i said i told y'all though i told y'all they would not be all that happy no, almost no matter what you did okay because they're all like because they because unless it's their idea unless it was their idea or they're the ones that started it right they will not be satisfied with anything you do unless it was their idea okay that's what you got to understand okay so in the moon in the moon in the reverse card they are very irritated but they're not seeing it openly okay they're not saying it openly, right? They're just sitting on the sidelines and just letting everything play out for itself, okay? They don't even need to say anything anyway, Aries, okay? They don't need to say anything anyway because it's not their place to say anything, okay? The two of swords in the reverse, okay? All right? You, I'm seeing here you've made up your mind on something, okay? You've made up your mind. You finally made a decision. You're not um, teetering and tottering anymore. Right, you, 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 you're not like having a hard time making a decision. Now you feel more certain about what you want. Okay, maybe you're a past person, or your family, that ex friend, or that family member, always made you feel like your decisions were crazy. Maybe, oh, maybe said made you second guess yourself and stuff like that. But now that they're not as involved, or now that they're not involved at all, you feel more confident in yourself. You feel more. Um, certain about what you want because there's no one to, to doubt you okay and your ideas are smart right but you know some people don't like smart people okay they don't like smart ambitious people that's why they have to try to dumb them down a bit right and that's a sad thing you know that's a sad thing you obviously seem like a great person Aries. you know you have a great personality you're hard working it's just that you are associated with the wrong person now but maybe not maybe sometimes people can't get out of it due to birth right like this evil person is your mom, this evil, evil person is your dad, or your grandma, or your grandpa, and stuff like that, right? But when it's stuff like cousin, brother, or sister, you don't have to be associated with them, right? But when it comes to like a parent, or a grandparent, or whatever the case is, like, just like a, uh, just somebody who's taking care of you, right? You feel like you can't truly escape from them. Like, for example, you can move out and everything like that. You can move out, but they still know how to contact you. They know how to make you feel like, oh, so you're going to ignore your mother. Oh, you're going to ignore your father after taking care of you all, all these years. Blah, 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 right? Like, oh, they know how to make you feel like, you know, you're just this bad person, okay? But whoever they are, the bottom line is that you're not a, you're not a bad person, okay? You're not the jackass here. You're not a child, okay? You're a grown man or you're a grown woman they just need to leave you the hell alone that's my opinion okay they just need to leave you alone let you do what you're doing because you're doing good okay there's just some moves that you need to make right there's just some moves that you need to make you got to make sure you're associated with the right people okay and you got to make sure that you've got this okay and i do believe you got this Aries. i believe you got this okay you don't need anyone telling you what to do okay because i'm seeing here you got you know exactly what you want Okay, like I said, in the two of swords in the reverse, you've made up your mind about something. Okay, maybe you made your mind up about moving away or getting the, taking the job opportunity or, you know, going across the world, go traveling, stuff like that. So, yeah, you've made up your mind. Whatever this is, you've made up your mind. Okay. Now, you guys got the seven of cups. Okay. Now. And the seven of cups, I'm seeing here you're getting your you're getting your options together, you're getting your life together. Things are starting to finally come together. Okay? Things are starting to find to work out, finally starting to work out for the better. Okay? Things are start finally starting to come together, right? So like things didn't make sense at first. You know, you had one thing right here, one thing right there. You know, oh, this won't start until you finish that. But when people freaking leave you alone and let you do your thing, 
that's when such things start to make sense and things start to look the way it needs to be or it, it, need, it, be, it is the way it needs to be, okay? Because you're very insightful, you're very intelligent, Aries. You just got to give yourself more credit, right? And you got to, please, for the sake of both of us, you got to put people in their place more often, okay? Put people in their place more often. Maybe I see sometimes, maybe when people piss you off and stuff like that, you don't really say anything, you know, because you feel like if you open your mouth, it's going to be a whole thing. But you can put people in their place without being angry. You can still put people in their place with be while being calm. Like, you know, a lot of people get misunder like mistake putting people in their place by screaming and yelling like, you know, listen, I'm not going to put up with this crap no more. Like, okay, that's one way to do it, right? But you can just be calm like... Okay, you know what? I'm really tired of this attitude that you give me. I'm tired of how you treat me. You know, if you don't want to be involved, you don't have to be. But either way, I'm going to do this because this is what I want to do. I want to do it this way. I want to do it that way. You see how I'm like, you see how I'm like saying it firmly, but I'm not yelling or being disrespectful in any way. I'm being calm, but firm at the same time. Do that. Okay, do that. Now, if you're just a, you know, if you're just a kind of person to get loud and rowdy when somebody pisses you off, then okay shit that's that's you but you know that's just a, another way to do it huh the nine of cups right i'm seeing here somebody wants to grow with you okay there's actually two people that wanted to grow with you okay your new lover right you're like your new romantic partner okay but they're doing it for the right reasons they want to grow with you because they love you they care about you right and they want to just see the two of you grow together help each other out fix each other help each other help each other both to get to the top right and then it's your past person okay whether this is your ex ex-friend or family member okay All right they did want to grow with you they did want to have the fruits of the benefit the labor with you right but the thing is, they were doing it for the wrong reasons, obviously, okay? Meaning, they wanted to grow with you, but they would have they done 10% of the work, okay? You would have been doing 90, okay? So it's best that this, this, this right here did not work, okay? This car, it's better that this did not work because they would have had you stressed out, overwhelmed, and tired, okay? Because you're always putting in um, 90, let's say 95% of the work, and they're only putting in five, okay? So you, that's why you'd be exhausted and tired so much. Remember, guys, in the nine of wands, tired, burnt out, exhausted, especially mentally and physically, okay? So that's not good. To feel like that almost every day, that is not good for you, Aries. So that's why this is good that it don't work out, okay? So you got the new lover. You got the new person to help you and bring that burden off of your shoulders, okay? So at least you guys will be sharing the burden, if anything, okay? And our last card says the Ace of Swords in the reverse, okay? Now the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Your past person, another reason why it was good that this wouldn't work out is that they would have tried to um, take over, okay? Meaning, say, you have an idea for... A company like you have an like you're 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 building you're building up your company and stuff like that. You have an idea for how this company should be set up, where it should be located, what's the name of it, what is it going to be about, what is it going to offer to people, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, okay. Now this person would try to come in, totally change things around, call shots that you did not approve of, and try to make it seem like it's theirs. Okay. So that's the problem you guys would have had. They would have wanted to grow with you, yeah. But two things that was wrong. Well, well a couple things were wrong. But here's a major three. Okay. One, they're cold-hearted and don't even want, and very narrow-minded, okay? Two, they want the fruits of your labor and act like the boss bitch, right? And three, they would have came in and, and totally um, try to, like, try to um, be manipulative and make it seem like they're the ones that brought it all or y'all are the ones that did it together when it was really you and your work, okay? So it would have been too much to handle. It would have been a whole mess. And it would have been so stressful for you, okay? So that's why it's good that it did not work out with this person, okay? At least now you can be at peace with your new partner and, and, and just relax and just have thing, like do things the way you want it done, okay? Why? Because you worked for it. Shit, you did it on your own. You did it, um, you know, with your resilience and your skill and your ambition right and that's what you got in a result you know investments and putting things together working on things and now you did it
okay so you don't need anyone coming in here saying no i did this or you know we did this you know saying no you did it aries so you got to give yourself a pat on the back okay so i didn't realize i talked so much it's finally been an hour a half an hour i was gonna pull out the angels answers deck but we know i see what we run out of time so i'm just gonna go ahead and end it here um you I'll, I'll do another video later so yeah i'll do it when i come off of work but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope i helped in any way i hope i brought knowledge or enlightenment to the situation but if it did not resonate with you i do apologize hopefully next aries reading will or just buy a personal reading you know what i'm saying just make your life easier but in the meantime, though, make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when I upload, all right? This has been the universe, Tarot. Namaste.